Hello YouTube. I am here today doing another versus in my versus series. And today I'm doing Verizon versus AT&T. I am in the shopping center where I got my Verizon SIM card and my AT&T SIM card at the same time. So I got these two SIM cards in the same shopping center. So today we are going to test how well does AT&T hold up to Verizon or how Verizon holds up to AT&T. So to give you an idea of what we're looking at, this is the map and what the cellular antennas are close by. So if you see that line, this is how close those antennas are to where we are. This is what we're going to be connecting to while we're sitting here in this parking lot. So first speed test by Google. Test, test. And go. Verizon is very strong. The antenna is literally maybe uh, 500 yards behind me. So AT&T uh, AT needs to put an antenna into the shopping center if they want to perform. But it's still usable. All right. In the Google test, Verizon at 158 down and 39 up. AT&T is at 20 down and 5 up. All right. We're going to do speed test. They both found and go. And they're starting to look roughly similar to the Google speed test. 31 down for AT&T and 171 down for Verizon. That's good speeds for them having an antenna right in the shopping center. So now I like have to, I have to point out that Verizon's doing DSS 5G and AT&T is only doing LTE. So just to point out Next up, fast.com. Remember, Verizon is capped and my AT&T line is not. So it caps out at four megabits per second on fast for Verizon and AT&T is uncapped. This is the elite plan for AT&T and Verizon doesn't have anything like that. So we don't truly know exactly what they will offer unless you're on a millimeter wave. So four megabits cap 19 for AT&T. Next up, next up. Imperv. Come on, AT&T. You got to show up. You got a bad showing last time. All right. Three, two, one. Go. All righty. Verizon max download 236 down. AT&T max was 54 down. I didn't catch the max upload for Verizon or AT&T. All right, they're on to the browsing test. You want to see how well does your phone browse the net? Facebook, Instagram, 
TikTok. This let's uh gives you an idea. And but like Verizon must have stalled out on Amazon, it looked like. All right, moving to the video test. 360p for both of them. And 720p, AT&T is working on. Verizon is just now finishing that. 1080p for Verizon. And that's done. With the antenna real close, you would think that the browsing should be better, but uh, not this go round. But streaming on both platforms is pretty decent. Now this is where the rubber meets the road. We are going to test to see how well does it download. Three, two, one, go. Now Verizon has the better speed but AT&T didn't show up last time that we did this test. All right, so Verizon's out to a 15% to AT&T's five, 23 to 7%, 34 to nine, 46 to 11. 61 to 14, 73 to 16, 91 to 18, and 100% to 21. Well, Verizon comes out on top on this one. AT&T is still struggling along. They're gonna have to identify their network if they're going to keep up with what's going on with, you know, 5G coming into play. But right now, this is rural America. I'm out in the suburbs of D.C., uh, Clinton, Maryland. Just in case anybody want to Google where I'm at. I will say this. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if possible. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them in uh, the comment box below. If you'd like to know something, hit me up in the comments or on social media. And I'll see y'all again next time.